What's up guys and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's 3D. In the last video we completed nights 3 and 4 and we got on night 5 and got double jump scared by Phantom Freddy and completely destroyed by Springtrap. Well in today's video we're hopping back into night 5 and seeing if we can complete the game and obviously unlock the extras menu along with nightmare mode which should be a lot of fun but of course if you guys do want a video on nightmare mode so I'm assuming that's gonna be pretty difficult so just if you guys do want a full video on that just leave a like on the video right now let's go for like 1,000 likes in the first hour and we could have a nightmare video up tomorrow and also drop a comment down below just saying nightmare if you guys do want to see that anyways let's go ahead and hop back in to the game here we're gonna go ahead and press continue and see okay so we're back on night five and uh, you guys all responded that you didn't want to hear the phone. What the? Oh no! Oh no! Don't look at him. I don't. Oh, um, I don't know what to do for him. <laughs> I don't know. The developer did tell me not to look at them or something like look at certain ones, but then don't look at. Oh no! BB's here. Okay, so we know Springtrap is on this night, unfortunately, and we know Phantom Fox is on this night. Phantom BB, Phantom Freddy, and Phantom Chica are all on this night. So everybody's here, but I. Oh gosh! Okay, that's what I was worried about. Literally, she spawned on top of me and jump scared me. I have a feeling that's going to be happening a lot on this night, but you know, that's just a, a feeling. Oh my, look at how, wait, how do I zoom in again? What button was it? Look at, there's two of them. Okay, I think I'm not supposed to look at Phantom Foxy? No, he's still there. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know. Let's just avoid all of them. All right, how about that? You know, that's a good idea. Let's just <laughs> stay away from everyone. Uh, let's see here. He's still just kind of chilling there. Oh, there, there's three of him. Holy, there's three phantom fire. Oh my gosh, dude. Where does he come from? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so scary. I would definitely say he's probably my favorite character in this game. Phantom Freddy is by far my favorite. Let me know your favorite in the comment section down below. Out of Phantom Foxy, Phantom BB, Phantom Freddy, and Phantom Chica, and of course Springtrap, which one is your personal favorite? I'm already going to say, like, oh, well, based off of this game, I should say. What the heck, dude? <laughs> based off of this game, which one is your personal favorite? Like I said, my personal favorite, Phantom Freddy. He, he's way too cool. Like, if I was going off of, you know, FNAF 3 in general, I'd probably say Springtrap. But in this game, Phantom Freddy is so freaky, and he just walks up to you and jump scares you. It's so cool. So, yeah, he's definitely my personal favorite. All right, now wait. What are we going to do? Okay, here's the thing, guys. I think we could easily beat this knight because none of them kill me. The only one that does is Springtrap. So if I wanted to, I could just sit in this corner right here and I could beat the knight. Now, I don't know where Springtrap is, but I'm assuming he's coming right now. Oh, my God. Holy no. What do I do? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. I, I like what what do you do in a situation like that? What do I do? I can't I can't go anywhere I tried running and Phantom Freddy just chases after him. dude. You got to leave me alone What do I do to get rid of you? They should have one where it's like you shine your flashlight on him and he'll leave because that would work for him I tried like not looking at him. I tried everything. He still jump scares me And it's so weird that he spawns there too. Like he just he just starts off running at you and getting you it's like there's not much you can do. I can't run. Come on, game. Let me run. I need to get over here. Okay, now please don't spawn on me. Nobody spawn on me. All right. So wait, what are we gonna do when Springtrap comes down here? Cause he walks. He, he has a he has a pattern. That I think he walks every night the same exact pattern. Like from nights one through five, I think he always walks the same pattern. So what I've seen him do is he walks up to here, stops right here, turns around, goes back. I've never seen him go. Oh my gosh. <sighs> but I, I, I can't get used to that. Just randomly getting jump scared, man. I can't. I can't. I, I cannot get used to that. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Why? I'm just trying to look at Phantom Chica. But yeah, so I, I don't know what to do. I think, okay, here's the plan, guys. All right. I want Springtrap to go up through here, up into that point, right where, right where Phantom Chica is. All right. And when he does, we're going to walk around him, go back that way. And then back down his hallway and see if we can survive over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We clearly cannot survive on our hallway. No, we, we just can't. I, he said to look at one of them and don't look at the other one. But look, I'm not looking at Phantom Foxy, right? Not looking at him. Not looking at him. Now watch. He's still going to be there. Yep, still there. We look at him. He stays there. We, we know that because last video, he, he was there for like the entire map. Actually, there's like three of them last time. Four of them. Uh, oh, God. Phantom BB, you cannot block my path. I've got to run past Springtrap right where you are actually speaking of spring trap is he he's not here yet right 
That could be a bit of a problem. Okay, so like I said, here's the plan. He walks up, stands right there. We instantly run all the way down the hallway. Hopefully, we don't run into Phantom Chica or anyone else on that hallway. Oh, Phantom Freddy's already waiting. No, Phantom Freddy, you can't do this. Stay stuck there, okay? Wait, okay, so he said don't look at... Let's see if we don't look at Phantom Freddy. Let's see if he goes away. Look this way. All right. And he's still there. <laughs> Okay, I don't think it works. I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, now we got to make sure that we have a close eye on this door. As soon as Springtrap goes through, we got to make a run for it. Because he could turn around quickly, and he'll see me running down the hallway and come get me. But we should be okay. If he didn't go so slow, man, it'd be perfect. <laughs> he moves at the speed of molasses, man. He takes forever. I just realized something. Look, if you look this way, you can only take a little sliver. But if you keep turning, you can see the whole thing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that then. I wonder how much of... I wonder if Springtrap can even see me from here. Kind of worried about that. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, like, look on the left side. I'm I'm looking through that little sliver in the... Oh, my... Okay, yeah. Still not used to that. Nope. St I don't think I'm ever going to get used to that, to be honest. Randomly getting jump scared. Actually, now that I think about it, they don't actually kill me. So, wait. Um, I can't run. If I go up to these guys, because I, I can, they're not going to kill me. Yep, you can jump scare me. And then you can jump scare me, too. Come here, Foxy. Yeah. And then here, you can jump scare me, too. <laughs> so, I can get rid of them by just letting them jump scare me this entire time. I didn't think about that. Because they can't actually hurt me. They can only jump scare me. So, I'm just going to do that, then. And look, I, can, I can't run for now, but I'll eventually get it back. So, our only real threat on this night is Springtrap. Who's in, he's going to be coming any minute now. Maybe. He, he moves really, really slow. He needs his walker, all right, to be able to get over here. But when he does, all right, I'm running. And, and sometime this year. Look at that. Oh, what the? What are you doing over here? Oh, he, he turns. <laughs> Look at him. He's turning as I walk by. <laughs> okay, no, wait. What if I go this way? No, he's still there. Okay, come here. Come here. I need you to jump. Oh, there's one, two, three, four. Four phantom foxies. Holy. All right, here you go. Oh, there's five. five six. There's six of them. Wait a second. I just thought about something. Phantom Freddy gets stuck on them, right? What if we can get Springtrap to get stuck there? <laughs> like, we just have him stuck. I wonder if he already is. I can't tell, dude. There's so many. This is so broken. Can I make it through here? I can. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing, Phantom Freddy? Get out of there. Oh my god, Phantom Chica too! We're just stacking them up. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay right here. Let's see if we can get Springtrap to come over here too. Oh man. Okay, this is fun. I like this. Alright, we got a nice little mob going of animatronics. Definitely uh, not what I expected to, to do in this video. But you know what? It happened and, and we're gonna leave it. Alright? I think Springtrap is in there? I can't tell. I can see. Okay, that's Phantom Freddy's arm. That's Foxy, obviously. Now behind is Chica who is gone. Actually, I don't see Springtrap's feet. He's still not down that hallway. That is uh, interesting. He's he's taking his sweet time. He really is taking his sweet time. Yeah, that, that's just Phantom Freddy who is now unstuck. All right, I'll take that. All right, oh, wait, is that Springtrap? Yep, oh, oh, that's Phantom Freddy again. Dang it. How many times, he just respawns as soon as he gets you. So, oh my dude, Phantom Chica, you can't be doing that. All right, you can't just be staring at me over there. That's creepy. All right, so he's going to turn the corner. He's going to see me and then run right into them. All right, yeah, that's still Phantom Freddy. What the heck? Where? Oh, my gosh. I broke it. No. I broke the assembly of them. I didn't mean to do that. No. I was looking forward to getting him stuck there. Oh, no. All right, we need to avoid this area now because, obviously, Springtrap. Actually, I don't even. I, I feel like Springtrap is stuck, to be honest. He's got to be stuck on something because he would have been here by now. Like, there's no way. I'm going to look. All right, I'm going to go over. Oh, God. Holy crap, man. I hate that. <laughs> it's so random. Like, there's no pattern to getting jump scared in this game. It just happens. Okay. Spring uh, he's stuck. He is stuck. Look at that. He's been stuck there the entire night. Are you? No, he can't be stuck. I feel like if I turn this corner, he's going to come after me. I'm not going to do it. He... Uh, uh, no, he can't. There's no one for him to be stuck on there. Like, you can see Phantom Foxy's behind him, but not like he's not in him or anything like that. So how is he stuck? <laughs> Guys, I don't know what I should do. I kind of want to step out here and see. Okay, never mind. Change of plan. I don't want to do it anymore. Chica's just right here, just waiting. All right. And then behind her is Phantom Foxy. You can see his ears. <laughs> what the heck? What is wrong with you two? You got to leave me alone, all right? Like, look, they've literally combined. They're like one animatronic. That is interesting 
Well, all right. Well, we're just going to wait here, to be honest. I think that's our best option here. Oh, no. They just respawned. I, I, oh, I want to do it, though. I want to try it. I did it. I did it. I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I'm actually dead. No. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. All right. Well, because this game is so glitchy, I usually obviously wouldn't do this, but I'm just going to sit in the corner. All right. Th this game is it's too buggy. It really is. You guys could tell by the footage here. There, there's I mean, it's like I was going to say Phantom Springtrap. Uh, Springtrap is just he gets stuck every night over there. I'm pretty sure. No, ever, the animatronics infinitely spawn. I don't know if that, I mean, I think that's on purpose. I think he told me, but why? I don't know. It's just like, all right, we're just going to stay here. All right, we're going to hide in this corner. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to pass the night. All right. You guys saw, I was going to beat that. The only reason I lost is because I decided to step out in front of him and it got him unstuck somehow. And he came and got me. So guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, it's now 5 a.m. again. And, uh, as you can see, I kind of, okay. All right. Quit the laughing. I kind of quit this. Okay, I. Oh my gosh! Why? I stopped that spot over there because I got attacked by him still. But this spot right here, you just see here, it works. So that proves that Springtrap doesn't even come over here. <laughs> he only goes over there. Either that or he's stuck again. One of the two. I kind of want to look, but no, I can't. All right, I can't. Because if he sees us, it's game over. Which that's what I'm talking about though. Like this, this is this is. What I was, remember when I made that first video on this game? I say remember like it was weeks ago, but a few days ago I made my first video on this game, and I told you guys I was like. This area is way too small to have this many animatronics. Like, when the game comes out, it's going to be too small. You can't even go anywhere. And that's exactly what ended up happening with the game. It's way too small of an area. And there's animatronics crowding the doorways, crowding that. You can't go anywhere. I can't go over there. If I go over there, it's it's guaranteed game over. Well, we won. But let's see if Springtrap's over here. Springtrap. Wow, look at how many fox. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, no. Oh, that's Phantom Freddy. All right, we're good. Oh, I thought that was Springtrap. Oh, that's the ending. All right. Yeah, like I said, though, it kind of, it, it, it's what I thought would happen and ended up happening with this game. It was too crowded, and I think that kind of is what messed it up. But still, we completed the game. Uh, we got the little ending right there, obviously. And now we should have the extras menu? Yes, we do. Okay, so animatronics, spring trap. Okay, so if you want to take a look at them, you can. Uh, can we move them? No? Okay, you can just kind of take a look at them, though. Still cool. Uh, Phantom BB. What? Okay. <laughs> Same problem that was in the game. <laughs> I just got to click them. Wait, wait, wait. So we can turn everybody on? Oh, my God. Wait, what? Phantom Puppet? Where was he at? I never saw him the entire game. What? Okay, that's weird. Okay, so wait. Let's do it correctly. Spring Trap. Phantom BB right there. Uh, Phantom Foxy. That is so cool looking. Phantom Chica. The animatronics all looked great. I don't know if he made them or what, but they all looked incredible. And even there, okay, except for Phantom Freddy, his uh, hand there. You got you got the microphone on the wrong part of the hand, uh, but still. Uh, then we have Phantom Puppet, who we never saw. I'm assuming this is for Nightmare Night. Maybe that's when he shows up. I do not know, though. It is kind of strange that he's here, though. I don't know. I feel like he's got to be on Nightmare Night. Um, I feel like he probably should have, like, kept this hidden, though, until we played, like, until you beat Nightmare Night or until you play it, at least. But, um, still, Phantom Puppet, that's gonna be cool. So, yeah, I mean, that was, uh, the game. Oh, we saw the jump scares, I forgot. Uh, please exit the extras after going into one of these. What? Please exit the extras? I don't know. I can't even do the jump scares. Or the- Oh! So- Every time you click animatronics or if you click jump scares, you have to restart it because then you can't click it again. I wonder why that happened. All right, so now we should be able to click jump scares. Yeah, there we go. So, spring trap. There you go. Phantom B. Oh, you can do it again. <laughs> Look at this. You can have all of them. You can have everyone jump scaring at the same time. That's awesome. It's so broken, but also at the same time. Okay, anyway, let's do it the correct way. Spring trap. Phantom BB. Phantom Foxy. Phantom Chica. And, of course, Phantom Freddy. Now, there's no Phantom Marionette here. That's weird. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We got to go back to the menu to look at it. Extras. Okay. So, wait. Why is there no Phantom Puppet? Jump scare. Hmm. Oh, this also kind of brought him back here with us. Interesting. I wonder why that that's that like that. All right. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Nightmare Night. Let's hop in. Let's see what it's all about. I'm assuming... Oh. Wait. Do we have a phone call? We do. Oh, crap. Phantom Freddy's already coming again. All right, what if I don't look at him? I'm assuming it's still gonna. Yep, there. Oh my god, he's got red eyes! I can't understand him. Safe removal sealed. Ooh. 
Oh gosh. All right. I can't. I can't understand that thing or hear it for that matter because of everything that's happening. All right. So wait. I forgot. Yeah. You can't kill me. So go ahead and jump scare me. I don't care. Uh, let's go ahead and go up here though. I want to see if I can find the Phantom Marionette because I don't. I don't. I've. I've never seen that. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. There it is. It's got red eyes and everything. That is interesting. He moves really, really slowly. Is he gonna? I don't know what. What is the point of you though? Do you? Jump scare me? Let's try. Oh, okay. I'm guessing this is no. We didn't. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. So, oh, wow. <laughs> what? What? Uh, where am I? Uh, okay. I was in the wall. What is happening? I think he spawned in that corner. So, okay. So now there's Phantom Puppet who obviously moves. And uh, all right, yeah. You guys all gotta just jump scare me. I gotta get through here. Oh, I can jump though. <laughs> So, uh, he moves just like Phantom Freddy and Springtrap, so he will find us, but once again, he doesn't really do any damage. Like, look how slow he is, and he doesn't really do anything. He's not really a threat. That's another thing that I found with this game, though. Like, nothing's really a threat in this game. It's just, like, it's there to just jump scare you and then leave. I kind of wish that was different. I wish this map was, like, bigger and that the, jump, the, that the animatronics actually did, you know, more unique stuff. But, I mean, at least they're here. Look at this little guy in there. What are you doing in my office, huh, buddy? What are you doing in there? Oh, here comes Phantom Puppet, real slowly. Oh, oh no, <laughs> Phantom Freddy, he's way faster. Oh, gosh, <laughs> he's way faster than Phantom Puppet. <laughs> Look at how why is he? I think he might be glitched or something. Also, why not just have his legs move? <laughs> like, why not just have him move? It's so weird that he's like, glides towards us. All right, come on, let me go. All right, let's go. So, I mean, obviously, <clears throat> we could easily beat this night. Like, all we got to do is just sit right here and we'd win, but... Uh, that, like I said, that's a huge problem with the game currently. I don't know if he's going to fix it or what, but there's nowhere to really go here. I, there's no point in me even going down there because obviously this spring trap, who I can't run, so he's going to get me. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I don't know. I, I, you know, how about let's just, let's just beat it in this video. Um, I'm not going to bother, you know, actually trying to beat it because like I told you guys, there's no point when the game is pretty broken. There's really no point. Like, like I said, I'm up for a challenge in a main, you know, Final Fantasy fan game where, you know, it's not bugged out and stuff like that where i could actually you know roam around and try to survive but with this game everything's pretty buggy i can't really i can't go down that hallway i can't go this way to escape it like i can't do anything but circle this little thing right here if i'm lucky so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and wait it out and see what happens at the end of this night so i'll be right back okay guys so we are now at 5 a.m on this night and uh let's take a look around here okay so we got three phantom foxies uh, i'll turn into you and then we got a fourth one right there down there we have nobody and what about in this section over here let's see what's going on i i'm afraid to do this but okay i see phantom foxy i can't i don't see anyone else though so i think we're okay in that regard so i, I all we have to do now is just survive for a few more oh there there's the trunks again there he is again every video <laughs> And there we go, 6 a.m. <laughs> right in time for Trunks to finally stop barking and surprise jump scaring me. And th what? That, that was it? Wait, you complete extras and you don't get... Or you complete the nightmare now and you don't get anything? What? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> what? The whole point of like a nightmare night is to obviously be difficult, but also that you should get like something at the end of it. That's really strange. Well, I mean, guys, that's it for Final Fantasy 3D. My overall thoughts on the game are, I I don't know how to feel about it. Like, I okay, I like the animatronics. I like the designs. I like the way they move and how they jump scare you. And including Trunks, who did it again. <laughs> Trunks, what are you even barking at? I wish I had a face cam on so you guys could see him. Trunks, come here. Come, come say hello to the people. All right, he, he just you guys can't see him, but just know he's right here. Everyone, everyone, give him a nice little hello in the comment section because he's. He's currently <laughs> behind me. But yeah, guys, like I said, I like the animatronics. I like how they look, everything like that. I wasn't a fan of the map, though. I feel like it was really tiny. I feel like it needed to be bigger. There needed to be more areas to run. And obviously, that whole bug with all the fandom animatronics, you know, constantly being there, never going away, and just no way of really getting rid of them. And also, just, you know, they're always in the way. I couldn't, I wasn't able to play the game like I was supposed to because if I did, I would constantly lose. You know, they're everywhere. They're in every doorway, every corner. 
and Springtrap was just always, you know, he'd, he'd always get stuck down that hallway. So, I mean, just it, to, to kind of sum it all up, the game was super buggy, and it wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be. If I had to, like, if I was making this game, I definitely would have, like, if, in my mind, if I had to I include all these animatronics, I would have done it differently. I would have made, you know, the pizzeria bigger. I know you, you know, you have certain design restrictions, because obviously you have to make it look like, you know, uh, Fazbear Fright, but... If I was making a free roam version of the game, I would definitely have to either, you know, add some rooms or make the area bigger so you can actually avoid animatronics, hide from animatronics, that kind of thing, or maybe add something into the game that could, you know, stop an animatronic or do something along those lines. Anyways, guys, I'm in this video here, though. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.